It was a very interesting match. The defeat in the previous Arena of Honor was a very valuable lesson. I made changes to the original pure offensive plan. This was actually due to forethought. We are not whales. If we count on our own army, we will not win first place because this is not the stage of the arena where we can encounter weak players. But as I often say, failure is a lesson, and it only depends on us whether we will have to repeat this lesson over and over again or whether we will learn something valuable from it right away. How did we do? See for yourself, because in my opinion, I will not return to the same class next year. The revised plan took advantage of the time gap between the opening of the second line of strongholds, which occurs after 10 minutes, and the opening of the watchtowers, which occurs after 15 minutes. A 5-minute gap turns into less than 3 minutes because you have to add time to take over. 3 minutes is enough to fill strongholds and allow for faster expansion in the future. Why this delay? Because you can only send a scout to the watchtowers once they are open. After receiving the scouting report, I started the second point of the plan. Building a counterattack. I didn't expect that at all. This attack went so well that it was almost amazing. The plan is working, and I really, really like it. The first capture of a watchtower instantly adds 4,000 points and 200 additional points every minute. Three towers, 12,000 instant points, and 600 points per minute. This is a huge boost. The next target for the Clan Castle Army was the Catapults. They give 5,000 instant points and 300 points per minute. Additionally, each Catapult attacks the City of Glory, reducing the number of defenders. This was the third point of my plan, not to allow the City of Glory to be easily taken over. However, the Targaryen did not fully understand the magnificence of my plan, and they took over the City of Glory without any regrets. We couldn't afford for any house to take it over because it would drastically reshuffle the rankings, and we definitely didn't need that. As you can see by the number of troops, this is a quickly organized invasion, not a full one, hence such an easy win. But I definitely felt problems here. This is a very, very high quality female synergy made for archers. In addition, with the exception of Melisander, each commander has her own exclusive weapon. I felt I was in huge trouble here because the synergy between Layla, Deaneries, and Annie is just killer. Deaneries, fully awakened, uses her active army skill very often, causing enemy commanders to be disarmed. Annie, with her weapon at max level, doubles the amount of returned troops. It's a very, very efficient connection, and that's why I'm slowly working towards it. Both require the use of an active army skill to activate, and Layla allows a female commander to use her active army skill several times in one turn. Melisander passively gives a chance to deal an additional 10% damage if she has archers under her command, while Cersei has a chance, using her active army skill, to cause the opponent to have a percentage chance of missing his attack. In very favorable circumstances, this synergy can prevent the opponent from even firing a single accurate attack. This is simply a devastating combination of female commanders. But there is something you can counter it with, and at a relatively low cost. Weakness Synergy. Attacking a weak spot doesn't miss, so Deanery's and Cersei's awakening effects don't affect me. Additionally, Bowmans are great targets for spears due to their low survivability. Strong and concentrated attacks on weak points cause the army to crumble very quickly. However, I was still afraid of the next fights, because the Bowmans, thanks to their range advantage, attack first. Solid attacks can really wear down my defense, especially since Tier 5 has a huge advantage over Tier 4. We defend ourselves as best we can, but our backs are against the wall. Tier 4 troops cannot resist Tier 5 troops in the long run. This is a class difference. However, thanks to the support of Catapults, we can play takeover until the very end of the match. The plan had three points, and all three were fulfilled to the letter.
Synergy of weakness versus synergy of weakness. I like this. It's always a good opportunity to polish my logic skills. Supposedly the same synergy, but with different applications. My synergy, using Annie and Uma, is geared more toward raiding. The opponent, on the other hand, is more universal, as it will work well both in solo combat and during a raid. Basically, both work the same. They attack the opponent's weak point. However, I also send back part of the enemy's army thanks to Anna, and the more units take part in the battle on both sides, the more she can send back. Uma applies a disarm effect, giving me a chance to make my opponent miss. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on weakness synergy, so it couldn't help much in this case. Personally, I don't plan to improve Petilo, but I completely understand this line of thought because it is correct. Weakness synergy itself is quite universal because it works passively, and it also gives you the freedom to choose an additional three commanders. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with bleed synergy, but you can't have everything. The latest attacks resembled a meteor shower. However, none of them broke through. Glory to the stranger. I invite you to the after party. We are back from the hell of the previous matches. This result speaks for itself. We learned a lesson in humility towards tier 5. But using the arena of honor mechanics, we conquered watchtowers, catapults and finally the city of glory. It wouldn't have been possible if we hadn't learned from the previous match what risks it involved. Army buildings built blindly are not the best solution. Ultimately, our biggest opponent was Targaryen who lost the clan castle at the very end of the match. I didn't manage to record this scene because I was made aware of it after the takeover. But that's not the point. You should enjoy victory and learn from defeat. Many of our opponents had much more power than us, but everything depended on the strategy that I had refined to the last detail for this match. Taking over the City of Glory was just the icing on the cake. Unexpected but very welcome. Another Arena of Honor next week. Will we make a second takeover of the City of Glory? Or maybe we will do something else? Or will we fail again? The fight continues, but now I personally have peace of mind. I did what I could, and I'm proud of it. Thank you for today, and see you soon.